And hey guys, it's Al again, and we're jumping back into some more retro gaming, and I've been on a Castlevania kick lately. So once again, we're going to hop into another Castlevania game. This time we're looking at Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse for the regular Nintendo. Now again, I'm playing the version on the Castlevania Anniversary Collection, so I'm playing this on my PS4, and I'm pretty sure that's going to mean that my controls are backwards again. All right, let's hop into it here. All right, if I remember right, there is a code. Oh, that's not right. If I remember right, that's a code that'll give me some extra lives. So this is a prequel to the first Castlevania game. Let's see, that's... yeah. Okay, there we go. It's the same thing as before. Same backwards controls, unfortunately. And again, I've never beaten this game just like any of the other old school Castlevanias. I don't expect to beat this here, but we'll see what happens. If I really get on a roll, maybe it'll happen. The interesting thing about this game is for the first time there were branching paths. Which we'll see in a little while here. Oh, shoot. Alright, that wasn't good. Can't even blame the controls on that. That was just my fault. I jumped at the wrong time. There we go. Alright, I got my full whip back. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I've had a cough that's just been lingering lately. Okay. We're gonna forget about those candles and just go up. Ah, you jerk. As you can see, if you get hit, it's still the same knockback. I don't know if it's even possible to get up there. Oh, here come the Medusa heads. They're still around. And this time we got these little platforms here, which if you jump on them, will rotate. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> got some mud men down there. Hey, finally a sub weapon. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Of course, now I get the cross that clears everything out, right? Punchback guy. Well, meat. Gotta love the wall meat. 
So anybody that's interested and not sure about the timeline, this is actually the character that the Castlevania Netflix series is based on, the guy I'm playing as here. And a lot of people consider this to be the best of the Castlevania games. Personally, I'm a little partial to the first one, but that's just my personal opinion. This game is still great. Shoot. I think I just messed up. Darn it! Alright. First boss fight. This guy shouldn't be too bad. As long as he's over there, we'll just keep... Anything on the death. Hey, if he's gonna stand there, I'll take it. Ah, oh, I was off center. Straight one, or do I get a choice? Well, I got a choice here. Um, I'm gonna go down because I think down brings us to Cypher. Again, I've never beaten this game, I've never even really been able to get that far into it. So, oh. Come on. That was lame. There we got the full whip. A skeleton with a whip. I forgot about those. Can I go? Nope. Gotta say, so far, this holy water has not been very useful in this level. In fact, I think right there the axe would be the way to go. Oh, you... The levels in this one are definitely longer than they were in the first one. I had to take that hit. I didn't have a choice. Oh, that was stupid. Background's actually pretty cool for the time. Got some lightning flashing there. Mm. Mm okay, we got nothing but dead space there. Okay. 
Oh, here we go. Um, this time we gotta stick up top, because that's the statue of Sife in the background there. Alright. An axe. This is probably gonna be a much... Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's not gonna be a pain at all. Just over. There we go. There we go. Now I could use some wall meat. That was pure chance. Oof. There it is. <coughs> See, that's one issue I have with the game is some places the stairs are just way too well hidden. Wall meat, sweet. I'm in trouble. again. That was a bad run. That was a really bad run. And now... Lightning should strike that statue and Saifa should come out. Yep. There we go. Now see, here's an error. Here's something that was eventually retconned. It says, take him with, or leave him behind. It was eventually retconned that this him was a she that would eventually marry Trevor. But we're going to take Sypha with. So there's one of three people you can bring with. You can only have one at a time, which I think is kind of silly. I wish you could have multiples with you. Oh, the ship. See, this is kind of where I get stuck. I've never... I don't think I've ever made it past the ship. And let's see... There it is. Hit the right button, you can switch. And Saifa here has her own 
Abilities and power-ups. Trevor for the reach. Oh, that just shoots fire. Okay. still have to sometimes stop and check my controls. Ooh. Some of these platforms are... Oh, darn, I did it again. Some of these platforms are collapsing. Cypher back out, try to get Cypher. An extra weapon. Oh! <coughs> yeah, I just don't have the... <laughs> I just don't have the skills tonight for this game. But I think that's where I'm going to end it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Castlevania III, Curse of Dracula. It was released in 1990, I believe. Great game. I personally am just not very good at it. I'll get back to it again eventually, and I'll definitely be trying to beat it. Never beaten the game, and I would love to beat it someday. Hope you all have a great night. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Feel free to comment. Subscribe. Have you ever played this game before? Have you ever managed to beat this game? Have you ever managed to get past the ship? Who's your favorite of the three characters? You've got Sypha, who you saw there, has got magical spells. You got Grant, who can crawl on walls, and the introduction of Alucard, who can turn into a bat and shoot some short range projectiles. I think Alucard ends up being most people's favorite, but I could be wrong about that. Tell me in the comments below. Who's your favorite? This has been Alan. <laughs>